We're here at the Middlebury College campus in Middlebury, Vermont. On February the 5th, 19-year-old student Nicholas Garza disappeared, seemingly into thin air. It's been over two weeks since his disappearance, and there have been no traces found of him. He was last seen at Stewart Hall on Tuesday, February the 5th. It was assumed that he was going home to his dormitory at Allen Hall, which is a seven-minute walk across a very populated campus. He never turned up, and no trace of him has been found since. His winter coat was found in his dormitory room, as well as his laptop and his iPod. His cell phone and his credit cards have not been used since February 5th. It was assumed initially that he was out of town on February break with some students who were vacationing in New Hampshire. When he didn't turn up along with the students on February the 10th, his mother issued a missing persons report for him. On February the 11th, an email was sent out to the campus community that Nicholas Garz was officially missing. It's been two weeks and an exhaustive campus search has turned up not one piece of evidence. Tuesday morning when I came in for my 8 o'clock history class and I saw uh, streaks of footprints and you know about three feet apart all across the quad and uh, you know nobody had mentioned officially what it was but it was it was understood that those were footprints of people searching for Nick. Um, of course, it, it was really disconcerting because at that point you realize, well, they're looking for a body um, and it's, it's now recovery and not necessarily rescue. Um, but now that they've uh, completed searching the campus, um, you know, there again, no more evidence of Nick. They, have, they didn't, find, uh, didn't find him, so there is still hope that maybe he's alive somewhere. We spoke to students on campus about how they were feeling and how it's possible for a student to disappear without leaving a single trace. I don't think it's really as tense as it could be. Um, people, I don't, I don't think they give us, give us uh, enough information really. Yeah. We just kind of go about our days. We, I mean, we have a lot to do, so it's kind of just in the back of our minds. Between our friends, it's kind of out of people's minds. Uh, there are no like, physical reminders anymore, like people have stopped searching. So, I mean, when a new article is published, people will talk about it. Since there's really not a lot of information that we've gotten directly from the administration, most of what we know is what we read in the news, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, we don't know what happened to Nick. We don't know if we need to fear for our own safety. Um, I think a lot of people want to help. Um, a lot of students have expressed feelings of helplessness because, again, not knowing what happened to Nick uh, is, you know, it's certainly a cause for concern for people and they don't know what to do and they, they really worry about him. When people like walk around, you think about it. I think at night especially. I don't know, I remember at the beginning when you, I know it's like weird to say, but when you're walking, you see a pile of snow, you're like, you're like thinking, you know, could there be a kid in there? So it's kind of creepy, but it's been a while, so I think like every so often new rumors will come out. There's still a lot of confusion since uh, the police from what we understand, have not found a lot of evidence. Um, I think it's within human nature to want to speculate. Um, certainly there have been news stories, especially the one on ABC that speculated that uh, Nick was just a drunk student and is dead in a snowbank somewhere. Um, people were concerned that maybe he committed suicide, but from, you know, from hearing his mother talk about him and other students, he seemed or, you know, not just seemed, but he was a happy person here, and there really wasn't any reason for him to, to end his life. Um, students are also concerned that, uh, you know, maybe he was abducted or, or the victim of some sort of crime. Some people have speculated, you know, maybe a, a hit and run accident. Um, you know, it's just we don't know what has happened to him. I don't think they know any more than they're telling us. Um. I don't think they're holding anything back. I think it's just still pretty much a mystery. Uh, I do think it's kind of weird that like we have to get all our information from checking the news, like Google News, mm -hmm. instead of just getting emails. I mean, we've gotten a couple yeah. emails from the Dean of Students, but they just don't know. There's really no information. So. Midblog is a local campus blog that began a Facebook group called Middlebury Student Nicholas Garza is Missing. It has 14,000 members, people from all over the state and country have been joining up to try and get information out there about Nicholas Garza. The purpose of the group is to uh, not only share information about from news stories about the disappearance of Nick, um, but it's also a way for 
uh, students, really people from across the nation to come together um, concerning Nick's disappearance to get his picture out so more people can see him. Um, and then also it's a way of offering support because um, you know, a lot of people are having a hard time with this. Whatever happened, it was pretty isolated and I mean tragic, but it's a safe campus. I, I still feel safe. But yeah, it's really sad that it had to happen. It could have been anyone. You know, as far as we're concerned, he just disappeared into thin air and with the not knowing and, and you don't know if he's alive or if he's dead and you don't know whether it's, it's silly to hold out hope or it's important that you hold out hope that, you know, maybe if he was abducted, then he's alive somewhere and maybe somebody will see him or if he ran away, somebody will see him. They would have found him by now. Um, if he was anywhere on campus. They've searched all the buildings. They got up the plows. Like the mood is pretty somber. Like expect, wait, just we were just waiting for them to find his body. But now that they have it, you start everyone's starting to question. Maybe that's why people aren't talking about it because no one has any clue. We're not have closure. We're yeah. not naive. We realize that it's a distinct possibility that Nick is no longer alive. But um, I think while we're all still here and and are very concerned and worried about him. Uh, we need to have that hope so we can continue searching for him as though he were alive. Um, you know, so that way, hopefully, there can be a happy resolution to his disappearance. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Nicholas Garza, please contact the Middlebury Police Department. This is Ava Solberger reporting for 7 Days.